As most of you know, the newest Star Trek film, Star Trek Beyond, is set, has set to hit, it's set to hit theaters on July 22nd, and now we know when we'll get our first look at the new film. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the first trailer for Star Trek will debut in front of Star Wars The Force Awakens on December 18th. Along with Trek, the report also suggests the other trailers included with The Force Awakens will be Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, The Huntsman Winter's War, Independence Day Resurgence, and X-Men Apocalypse, with possible Captain America Civil War and the Jungle Book editions. Christian, is it a good idea to put a Star Trek trailer in front of a Star Wars movie? It's a brilliant idea to put Star Trek tra- trailer in front of Star Wars. It's not the Yankees and the Red Sox. It's, yeah. it's Star Wars and Star Trek. And J.J. Abrams was the director of the first two Star Trek films and still is very attached to th- this project. And it should be. And it's and it's a movie. That I, I enjoyed both of them. I know some people didn't like the second Star Trek. Uh, what was it, what was it called? In, in Into a, Darkness. In the Heart of Darkness, whatever. Um, in the Heart of in Darkness. Heart of darkness. Uh, it, it is... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think the trailer itself, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be. And what, what a way to do it. You're getting ready to go into this science fiction fantasy. So why not see, let's see a science fiction movie right before it. I think it's a really smart move. Plus the other ones that are, that are they're Batman versus Superman and Apocalypse. Those are the, that's like little appetizers yeah. right before the, the main feast. So I, I think it's a really smart list. And I'm actually, even though I don't know how excited I'm going to be when Independence Day sequel comes out, I am curious to see the trailer oh, yes. and see exactly what it's going to look like. Because that trailer of the original, we forget, that was a movie that everyone, when saw that trailer, was like, whoa, what's this movie? And it was, it was a, a cinematic experience. So I, am, I think it's a really good list. I think it's a fantastic move to put a Star Trek. Yeah. Why? Because this there's this make believe thing of Trekkies or Trekkers, whichever one you fall into, versus Star Wars fans. It's it's that's made up. It's not a real thing. That's made up by some people uh, who like to think that way. The vast majority of movie fans just like their movies, and they like Star Trek movies and they like Star Wars movies. It's a sci-fi spectacle. So of course you put a sci-fi spectacle trailer in front of a sci-fi spectacle film. Makes total sense. But I'm telling you right now. Star Wars The Force Awakens has the potential to be the best movie-going experience of the year before the damn movie even starts. I mean, we're talking about seeing trailers for Star Trek, Captain America Civil War, uh, X-Men Apocalypse, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn, Dawn of Justice, maybe The Jungle Book, which is, I, to me, the biggest surprise so far out of any upcoming movie I've seen so far about how good The Jungle Book looks. Right. I can't wait to see that on a giant movie screen. That's going to be incredible. So, yeah, for me, this is a terrific move on their part. Yeah, I think it's really smart. I, I agree. It's 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 time to any of the Star Trek people who uh, you know are continuing the Star Trek, Star Wars, Wars War. They're totally two different worlds. One's fantasy, one's more so right. science fiction. But they're all science fiction fantasy when you really when it really comes down to it. And now you have Star Trek people who hate Star Trek. They're like the Star Trekies from the old generation hate the new generation. So Which I do know, not understand. It's just a lot of a lot of hate, guys. Can't we all just get along? Um, I think it's a, an amazing group of trailers that we're going to see. This is actually the the best opportunity for Warner Brothers to recut their Batman v Superman trailer a third time <laughs> and get rid of that stupid. <laughs> ending because it's called Batman v Superman. I know a lot of people have already seen the 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 you know the giant spoiler ending, but it's a maybe recut it. You know, this is a chance. Everything's digital now. You could do it right now. Right now you can be recutting it. I can't wait to see X-Men Apocalypse. ID what is it called? ID is it still ID Forever? What no, is it they called? changed that. Now it's uh I can't Independence remember what Independence Returns. Returns. Resurgence. 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 I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. Really it's called Resurgence. Resurgence. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I, that's the one I wish wasn't playing. It's gonna ruin it for me. But you're so uh, negative yeah. about this movie. I think this movie is going to be great. Yeah, it's got a lot to prove to let me. me let me change. Let me change. I don't know if the movie's going to be great, like Revenant. <laughs> I think it's going to be great fun. Campia just said it was going to be great. Whatever. Better than the Revenant. Better no. than Revenant. I you think it's going to be great fun. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.